Hi guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to draw a mandala in Illustrator. So this is my template. I set this up myself. It is just a series of concentric circles and the grey lines are at 10 degrees and the purple lines are at 5 degrees. This is just a template so you can line up your lines and just it just makes it so much easier when you're designing it. So I'm going to lock that layer because I don't want to draw on that layer. First thing to do is obviously create a new layer and I'm going to put a dot in the centre with the pen tool. I always use the pen tool, you can use anything you like but it has to be dead centre. Okay, so we've got this dot on this layer. Now the first thing you can do is either duplicate that layer like 20 or 30 times or you can do it as you go. So I'm just going to do it once for now and I'm going to lock off that first layer so that I don't lose it. So now I've got layer 2 copy and I have a dot in the centre. So this is going to be my rotation point and I'll show you what I mean afterwards. Um, first of all I'm going to draw something, a part of the Mandela design, so let's do say uh, this kind of shape, kind of like an archway. Now I'm only going to draw one side because with Illustrator you can um, you can reflect it. So there we go and if I just move that across so there we go I've got my first part of the design now I don't want to have to draw that all the way around the circle so I'm going to use an effect the effect is called transform so first of all what you want to do is you want to grab this item and also grab the dot in the center and I want to group them now go up to effect and you want to go down to distort and transform and then go to transform now it's not showing on my screen because my screen capture software for some reason is not picking that up so let me just bring up the transform window that's what you'll see so on the third box down I want to look at the rotate section so this is working at angles obviously in a circle there's 360 degrees so you want to choose something that uh, fits into that not quite nicely like a round number so I'm going to go with 30 degrees and what that's going to do is that every 30 degrees it's going to repeat this shape so it just depends how many copies you want so I'm going to put in let's say six copies the other part you have to look at is this sort of cluster of dots here there's nine dots there and they correspond with the points of the shape like the outside points and the center point so I want to choose the bottom one in the center because that's going to be our rotation point so the center dot on the layer is going to be the rotation point because you want everything to rotate around the center obviously uh, so I'm just going, to, just going to click preview so you can see and it doesn't it just copies the shape so we obviously haven't got enough copies so I'm going to put in 11 copies and then it's all the way around but you can see that they're not actually joined together so let's make it let's say 15 degrees oh, that's a bit close let's go 18 degrees maybe so 18 no let's go a bit, let's go let's just go 20 degrees there we go that's the way <laughs> Uh, and let's up that number to, uh, let me think, 17 maybe? Yep, good, I can count. If I go to 16, you'll see that it's one less. So 17 means we've got 18 shapes there all together. So there we go. <laughs> That's basically it, you just gotta repeat that. The hardest part is just coming up with the design really. So I'm just gonna press OK and close that window and let's do another layer so go back to the original layer that you had duplicate it and lock the layer okay so now remember we've got the dot in the center already so let's draw I don't know let's draw something really big this time uh, about there and I'm going to fill this 
There we go. So we've got a great big triangle tower, which isn't <laughs> which isn't perfectly shaped, but it doesn't really matter. Just for this purposes, it's fine. So then you want to select that, select the dot in the center, group the items, go up to Effect, go down to Transform. I'll bring up the window for you. And then let's put that at, let's say, 60 degrees. And we're going to do five copies. And let's preview it. So there we go. Done. If I want to do, uh, let's say, 30 degrees, Let's do 11 copies, done. And you don't actually have to start again. If you want to change your original shape, you just go to the shape, um, I'm in isolation mode, and let's just make it shorter. And the transform effect just, um, just updates as you update the shape. So there you go. That's basically it. All you got to do is just build on that design. Don't forget to keep copying the first layer that you did with the dot in the center. Um, it just saves you a lot of hassle of putting in the dot each time. So there. I hope that's been helpful. Um, you can see a speed paint version of me doing a mandala design. It's a little bit choppy. I go back and forth, zooming in and out. and um, Yeah, I kind of change my mind a lot with the design. But um, I think I sort of get to something workable in the end. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. And I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more in the future. I'd be quite happy to with Illustrator or Photoshop even. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.